until just recently, I felt that Joe Montana was the greatest quarterback that ever played the game. I now reserve that right for Tom Brady. Good evening, everyone. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's time for the season opener for the Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. So I watched this game tonight very closely. I watched Tom Brady's left knee. That was the injured knee. With New England, brains win, efficiency wins, doing your job wins. Edwards trying to set up a screen to Jackson. Got a block from the center, Haygardner. Got a touchdown. Wow. He's battled through injury. He's, uh, he's fought through adversity on the football field and off the football field. That's why sports is cool. You just don't know what script is going to play out. You thought Brady come back maybe a little rusty. They'll take care of the Bills. The Bills, they fired their offensive coordinator 10 days ago, right? <laughs> yep. Huh? 24-13 Buffalo. Five and a half to go. Captain America put his cape on. He said, I'm going to work. Complete to the 36. John, where does New England need to go? What do they need to do here? Well, they got to get in the two minutes just like they are right now. This is a two-score game. And Brady's got four downs. He'll be smart, methodically pushing the ball down the field, but they got to hurry. Not drafted in the first round. That's well documented. Later in the draft. Didn't even start. Was often pulled at Michigan. One more time. Brady to fall. First down to the 47. It does seem like Tom is almost obsessive still to this day about the draft and about Michigan and, and not being royalty day one in the league. Ball catching. Out of bounds. Save a play here before the two-minute warning with 2.10 left. The guy's the most accomplished quarterback in NFL history, and he still does carry that chip on his shoulder. He's carried it around his entire career. It's driven him. It's what's made him great. Touchdown, Benjamin Watson! Let's show the Buffalo Bills that this is a football team. It's not a bunch of guys running around out there in the same jersey. This is a football team. And the ball came out! It's free at the 30! Who's got it? The Patriots do! Tom does the same thing he does every year, take over the world. Brady, quick welcome to the 16. 80 seconds left. Tom Brady is reading the blitz. He's triggering the center to go to handle it. He's throwing sharp slants right now. Brady pumping, throwing angel. Tom terrific and the Patriots survive and once again Tom Brady finds a way at crunch time <laughs> to, to deliver a Tiger Woods like performance if you had to compare him to any other goat in any other sport it had to be like Michael Jordan or something I think of a winner champion you know those are the first things that come to mind uh, when you mention his name for what he's been able to do in his in his career I think uh, champion it's first down at the 33-yard line for the Patriots. Brady with time. Made the catch. David Patton slipped, got up, made the catch. The ball was delivered right on the money. At the combine, when you watch Tom, <laughs> you saw this tall, gangly-looking kid. Looked like he hadn't ever seen a weight room. Quick pass to the far side. That's caught by Kevin Falk and fall across midfield to about the 45-yard line of the Raiders. Does he wow you throwing the ball? Mm -mm. There were some other guys that could shoot it. His 40 time and that vertical jump in 32 years of doing this, we talked about 576 quarterbacks. He was number 576. This time, quick pass to complete to Jermaine Wiggins. Tom Brady wasn't something that happens every year. You're not going to find that sixth-round quarterback who becomes a Hall of Famer. It's just isn't going to happen. Coming up on 9.50 to play in the fourth, and Brady, five out of five, oh, throwing right. the ball for 35 yards on this drive. This skinny beanpole of a young man walked over to me and said, Hi, Mr. Kraft. I want to introduce myself. I'm Tom Brady. Oh, what a catch made by David Patton. I said, I know who you are. You're our six-round draft choice. Patriots now all but abandoning the run. The pass to the near side is complete to Patton. And I always remember he looked me like a laser eye to eye, and he said, that's right, and I'm the best decision this organization has ever made. Steps up. Gonna run it. is to advance to the AFC Championship game.
for the Patriots who trailed the Saints by four. We got time, fellas. 70 yards to cover, no timeouts remaining. 1.13 on the clock. A minute 13 to go. Here comes Brady when after his last pass attempt was intercepted, you're thinking, well, not over, but over. Not yet. Wait, 20. Here we go, buddy. Let's see what we got here. What makes him so special is how good he is in the moment. You know, when they need that one drive. Tom Brady has been the greatest when the stakes are the highest, and he's done it repeatedly. Under a minute. And that is Collie down to the 32-yard line. This dude is something special, and his leadership, his willingness to embrace challenges and to overcome them time and time again. This is fourth down, and a catch is made by Collie down to the 17. The bottom line is he got it done. He got it done in a clutch situation. No timeouts. Ten seconds left. In clutch situation, this dude is second to none. Brady to the end zone. And Tompkins with a touchdown. Brady's back. That's your quarterback. Where's the beef? One of the most unbelievable finishes from one of the most unbelievable quarterbacks in the history of the NFL. Yes! Yes! Dick Huron and his offense, like I said earlier, can't relax. His defense can't relax. It's 27 to 6, but those are the world champions on the other side. You've got six minutes and 42 seconds to go in the third quarter, and another quarter after that. Tom Brady and this offense are so dangerous, you got to keep pouring it on or you're going to have to face some serious trouble. Yeah, I think as an athlete in any sport, you admire guys that are consistent at it. You know, I think a lot of people can have a great year, but if you want to maintain that uh, over a course of 10, 15 years, that's when it becomes difficult. Green pass for Antoine Smith, the block downfield by Woody, smashing inside, he takes a tumble into the 36-yard line. But you did know about him, that he was going to give you an opportunity to win in a critical situation. Um, he was going to take care of the football. He wasn't going to do anything to hurt the team offensively. Blocked by Fourier, downfield he goes, after gaining about 14 yards. Another first down. Like, he's been through it all. He's weathered every storm. He's been consistent throughout every two-minute situation with the game on the line. So the experience, um, knowing how to win in these big games, playing at a certain level. There's an open trap and takes it in. Torch throwing for a touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown reception. And the New England Patriots might, just might be back in business. I think he's right in there with Babe Ruth, Muhammad Ali, uh, Michael Jordan and Tom Brady. Those are the four guys on my Mount Rushmore. Here goes the pass. A one-handed catch by Kevin Fulton and a block downfield by Patton and a Patriot touchdown. A 36-yard strike. He survived the storm better than any. Again, that's what I've always respected about him is in the pocket, he's fearless. Great time. Fires the pass downfield. It was grabbed, 18 yard game. No reason to panic. He makes everyone else around him better. No matter who's playing with him, no matter who's on the left or right side of him, he just makes him better. Brady, again, wonderful time. And feeds it off to running back Kevin Falk, who is wrapped up by Brian Robinson after a gain of seven. He wants to win more than he wants to glorify himself. Third down and three, eighth play of the drive from the Chicago Clock. He'll do what he has to do to win. Brady gets away from Coleman and to the end zone. Caught by Patton and a touchdown. How many chances can you give a world champion before they're going to take advantage of it and make you pay? And Tom Brady made the Chicago Bears regret they ever gave him those extra chances. They looked up, they were down 17 points by the end of the first quarter. It was 24 to nothing at, at halftime. And I'm saying to myself, this can't be the Patriots. But again, you got Tom Brady, Bill Belichick. Brady throwing it wide open is Gronkowski. And Rob Gronkowski all the way inside the 20-yard line. The first drive 
eight plays, 80 yards by Tom Brady. The first thing I started saying is, uh-oh, here they come. Edelman is there and pulls it in for the touchdown. That's exactly what the doctor ordered for New England. They came back and won the game. They won the, they came back and won the game. Just something in your stomach just told you that it wasn't over. It was never over just because you got that guy right the there. The fact that Tom Brady can go to a park and just pick anybody, that's what makes him the greatest. Brady goes the other way over the middle, caught by Gronkowski. And Gronkowski trying to get to the end zone. He will come up just short. Production, the individual statistics, he's had a revolving door in terms of the supporting cast around him from year to year, and yet he doesn't miss a beat. So after one of the worst first halves ever for a Bill Belichick coach team, New England is right back in the game. He finds a way in the pocket to keep his eyes downfield when there's chaos around him and deliver throws time and time again, especially in big moments. It goes without saying that Brady will be in the discussion if he's not already is one of the best. Of I all think time, he's the greatest, if, if not the best. Do you? I do. I think he's the greatest that ever played the game. It was just intensity. And Tom, he's the fiercest competitor I've ever been around. Sometimes when Tom Brady gets hot, and it just looks like it's going to be impossible to stop. Edelman spinning away. Edelman takes the lead. You can have your Manny. I'll take my Brady. Yeah, I, I think it is fair to say that we are right now watching the greatest of all time. the Patriots and the Ravens. Uh, the Patriots are 15 and 4 at home in the postseason, but two of those four losses came to the Ravens. Michael fires complete. Kamara get at the 10. He's to the 5. Lunges forward. Touchdown, Ravens. Meanwhile, Joe Flacco has the best record for road wins in the NFL during the postseason. Steve Smith Sr. Touchdown number two for the Ravens. Anybody doubt Joe Flacco right now? You just saw the fortitude, just the way he pressed forward, and that's the way his team rallies around. Brady's going to run. Brady is going to score. Touchdown, Patriots! Straight ahead, TV 12 for six. And he spikes it. We got life. That's the difference. The Patriots don't beat themselves, and when you beat yourself, they punish you. Quick throw, left side, and Abigail makes the grab. Get out of attack. Brady's career has largely been about coachability, discipline, efficiency, smart, uh, willfulness. That could be a ball game right there, folks. That could be it. Does he think his legacy is not cemented? I think he looks at himself as a six-round draft choice, and, and he's always looked at himself as, as that. Stop. Throws for Brad Calvin. Catch his face. Touchdown, Patriots. That's why he prepares. That's why he never takes anything for granted. That's why he works his butt off. And I tell you, every time I will go in there at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, he's one of the first guys in that way. He's going to look to throw downfield. Have a ball right open. Makes the catch of the 18 in stride. He's gone. Touchdown, Patriots. The roof's off. What a play call. From this point forward, I think of the NFL, I think of Tom Brady. I think Tom's completely separated from everybody else at that position. Wins, records, Super Bowl records, Super Bowl appearances. I think he's now the face of the league. He's already carried a chip. Say something about how bad they are, how they're done, how they're over with. You don't do that to competitors. The Patriots never feel as though they're out of the game. Because Brady, I always tell my friends, never pick against Brady. I know you're trying to hold, you don't want to talk about it, and he did this with 12 stitches in his Wait, wait, time out, time out. To go up two possessions over the fourth. This from 43, Lambo's kick, again dead center. I'm glad you just said that. Did I bring up, it was 10 stitches, did I bring up anything about his hand in any, I've spoken 300 words, whatever I've spoken, not about half as many as you have so far, but the point is, did I bring up his hand one time, Joy Taylor? No, you did not. I did not mention it because I don't need to mention it. It doesn't matter. It's a third and 18. Brady's able to throw it. And they 
convert on third and 18. That's a huge play for the Patriots. Third and 18, down by 10 in the fourth quarter. Skip, that's his bigger throw, that's his biggest flex throw that you'll see Tom Brady make. Back Brady it comes. The bottom line is Tom Brady won the game because he ain't falling off a cliff, because he is a performer, because he is that dude. And it is caught by Torsett. They're playing without Julian Edelman. Gronk gets hurt, and still in all, they find a way. They were up 20 to 10. It's over for the touchdown. What he did today without Gronk was simply incredible. That performance today catapulted him up to being the best that ever did. Look at White. Walker's in front. James White gets halfway home to the 15. This has become almost routine for them in terms of their ability uh, to win playoff games, get to the Super Bowl. Amendola with another catch. The thing is, it's as though we're getting desensitized. Take it to White. Look at around. Because we're becoming so used to Tom Brady engineering game-winning drives, because we're so used to seeing Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. They get the feet down. What an effort. Touchdown, Amendola. That's a touchdown, Jim. New England has the lead and a shot at heading to the Super Bowl. We've been in worse situations than this, huh? Let's go, boys. It's our time. It's our time. Let's go. In a critical mass now at 11-15, left in this football game. The signature play of the last Super Bowl came on that third and 14 play. Hanging in, this a huge hit from Cam Chancellor. It's a money catch right there. You forget sometimes with Brady that he was the 199th overall pick sometimes. We in the media, we remind that all the time because that's part of the fire that burns within the hand. Third and eight throws, first down and more. Edelman takes the ball to the three-yard line. This is going to have a first down and goal. Last night, he won Super Bowl MVP with his greatest performance ever. Caught Amendola for the touchdown. Okay, he's turning into something Ooh. here. I'm going to take zero credit away from Tom Brady. Tom Brady and the Patriots looking for a fourth quarter drive to take the lead here at Super Bowl 49 who played the greatest fourth quarter of his career, a QBR of 97 in the fourth quarter against one of the greatest defenses of all time in Seattle's defense. Edelman out of the slot, send it to him. Breaks a tackle, <laughs> then another. Takes the ball close to a first down. He is stronger, faster, and can throw it better right now than he has at any time of his career. Throws over the middle. Tom Brady breaks the Super Bowl record in the first half with 20 completions. Just broke another Super Bowl record with 36. His poise, his ability to make plays, no panic. That's something that carries with him, you know, throughout his career and really what has defined him. Touchdown, Patriots! They're back in the lead in Super Bowl 49. Down to half a minute, second and goal. I've said it for the last two weeks that he's the greatest quarterback of all time. And I said this because over his career, he has done nothing but win football game. Intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Malcolm Butler stepped in front of the throw. And the Patriots have possession with 20 seconds to go. The New England Patriots are the NFL champions. That's the way I view Tom Brady is he is the Michael Jordan of football because when I think of Tom Brady, when I hear Brady's name, I think of wins and I think of generational impact. When I hear Jordan, I think of championship wins and generational impact. And Tom Brady's done the same thing. We are all Patriots. And tonight, once again, the Patriots are world champions. I thought I saw the symbolic end of Tom Brady. Pass is picked, intercepted, Robert Alford. When he leaps out to the best of his ability and he comes up empty as the DB runs by him and he lays there, I thought that was the end. He's gone. There are no flags, and the Falcons add to their lead. Alford with a pick six. Did you play any worse right now? The first ever pick six against Tom Brady in a postseason game, let alone a Super Bowl. And then for sure it was game over when the Falcons scored to make it 28 to three. Here is Coleman, end zone, touchdown. Atlanta 28, New England three. Play tougher, harder, tougher, everything. Everything we got. Half this 
quarter's almost already gone, so at some point, you know, sense of urgency's got to be increased here. Eventually, Captain America will put his uniform on, and all of a sudden, he'll close the gap. I'm not surprised at all they're going for it here on fourth day. They're on 46, down by 25. The sheer will to win by this football team was incredible. Brady has a man, first down, big conversion, Amendola. What he pulled off last night was flat out impossible. Brady flushed out. Tom Brady, as it stands right now, the best there is, the best there was, the best it ever will be. I wasn't I wasn't even call, saying that we were coming back. I was, ah, maybe they'll make it a little respectable. I don't know. Touchdown! It may be just maybe. There's the one you need. You didn't see anybody back down. Nobody laid down. Those guys fought to the very end. It's hit. Ball is out. And they got the fumble sack. New England has it. Tower knocked and they showed Brady's reaction. That was the first time I actually thought the Pats had a chance. Last night, Tom Brady didn't just eclipse the great Joe Montana. Tom Brady eclipsed Michael Jordan as the greatest clutch player in all of sports history. It's very hard to imagine anyone thinking at 28 to 3 that the Patriots could come out of their doldrums and really start attacking. Brady and the Patriots take advantage of the takeaway. And it's a one score game in Super Bowl 51. Out of that halftime, all but dead and done. They go 91 yards here. They'll have a chance to tie it. New England not only mounted a comeback, but played a virtually flawless last 45 minutes. Spearheaded once again by the GOAT. Hogan makes the grab at the 20 slot. Wow. What a strike between a pair of defenders. First down New England. Money throw by number 12. Here's Edelman broken up. Oh, that's a catch. Oh my God. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like this. What I saw last night may be the greatest performance I've ever seen. Here's passing in this game. He had already established his legacy as the greatest quarterback ever. This adds to it because this is probably the most incredible part of his legend. Tom Brady threw for 246 yards in the fourth quarter alone. Touchdown, James White! It's amazing how this team is never dead. Boy, you got to drop him to come back from a 25-point deficit when things are dire. And now the biggest two-point attempt in the history of the Patriots franchise. Tom Brady was down 28 to 3. We all got eyes. That score was 28 to 3. This is a tie game. It was down by 25. The Patriots are even with Atlanta. Don't ever count Tom Brady out. Best ever. Best ever in my book. I said it this week. Regardless of what happened tonight, he's the best I've seen and put on a show here in the last 30 minutes of this ball game and to climb back in it. I was waiting for what I believed was a Joe Montana moment from Tom Brady to eclipse him over Joe Montana. This was it. I concede. I have nothing to say. It's the greatest performance I've ever seen. Gentlemen, we're about to begin an overtime period. New England gets to call the toss. Heads. They have called when heads. When the Patriots won the coin toss, the game was over. It was. It is heads. New England won the toss. I said, there's no way they're settling for a field goal here. They're going to go right down. They're going to score. The opening kickoff to the first ever overtime in Super Bowl history. A rally that was next to impossible, more than improbable. Brady will start at the 25, and again, a touchdown. The game is over. To win it with this drive, the Pats need to score a touchdown. And it's White out of the backfield. James White trying to tiptoe. Nice little drive started right there. Quick little flip out to the side. Now this game was over at 14 0. It was over at 21 0. Second and four. What a throw, Amendola. One of the best of the game for Tom Brady. When everybody counts you out, no one thinks you even have a chance. And he still did it. Ali got his brains beat in for seven or eight rounds, then he knocked Foreman out. And it was it's one of the greatest, most memorable fights of all time. We just saw Tom Brady's rumble in Houston. Now the gut pass is caught. First down at the 25. We all know he's really good. This was mythical. Flip it to White, looking for blocks. Getting blocks inside the 20. 
That's Halo stuff. That's Zaire. That's 104 hitting jumpers. It's the first time I walked out and I'm like, he's floating to that locker room. You know what my favorite ring is? The next one. That's my favorite. A touchdown! And a title! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! What I saw with my own two eyes last night was the minting of a goat. They have completed the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. Led by the greatest quarterback. What we saw last night is a conversation ender as to who the greatest quarterback in the history of the National Football League is. He is the greatest quarterback that has ever played. He doesn't have the strongest arm, but he's got the greatest will and pre-snap, drive, focus, endurance, discipline, efficiency, things that don't sell on the Kardashian show, but things that provide him with an edge on every other competitor.